A shot on Flatbush Avenue. This happened overnight. It's unclear if those victims were the intended targets or just random victims of violence. Good days. Briella Tomasetti joins us now from downtown Brooklyn with the very latest on this investigation. Briella, what are you hearing? Yeah, Dan, good morning to you. So people we spoke with say that they are not surprised by this violence. They say the area, or they claim that the area, is known to be dangerous at night. The bullet holes that remain piercing through the windows of this McDonald's behind me seem to be a visual reminder of that. Gun violence continues to plague the five boroughs this summer, the latest shooting leaving three people wounded in downtown Brooklyn. Police say it happens at the intersection of Flatbush Avenue and Fulton Street just after midnight. A gunman opened fire, grazing a 41-year-old woman in the neck who refused medical attention. A 44-year-old man was shot in the right hand and a 33-year-old man was hit in the right thigh. Both were taken to local hospitals where they're listed in stable condition. Investigators say the suspect ran off in an unknown direction. We never expected to see this. You know, we yeah. actually take a walk after the movie and we just saw all these cars over here. And Several rounds of gunfire pierced through McDonald's window as cops searched around inside. Outside, evidence markers lined the street and a pair of flip-flops sat on the pavement surrounded by crime scene tape. Late night patrons looking to grab a quick bite were instead greeted by an active shooting investigation. I come here usually like, uh, every few days and uh, it's always a lot of stuff going on here. According to the NYPD's latest crime statistics, shooting incidents year to date are down from 7 to 2 by more than 71 percent. Shooting victims in the meantime have dropped from 6 to 1, not including this incident. That's a decrease of around 83 percent. But people who frequent the neighborhood perceive those numbers much differently. This is very alarming. I don't know, it's out of control. Out of control. It's not only here, it's everywhere. And I don't know what we're going to do. Yet another close look at those bullet holes. It's unclear at this point if the gunman was aiming for someone inside that McDonald's or possibly someone out here on the street that, of course, is still under investigation. What we do know, though, for certain is everybody is expected to recover. And by the way, the McDonald's, back open for business this morning. For now, though, we're live here in downtown Brooklyn. Dan and Tashani, back to you.